Good morning from Low Country Shrimp and Nets. Take two. Take two. This is Irreverent Nets. We have already started off quite irreverently because I wasn't even on the right site. I was on my personal, <laughs> the one I use for my ex we already exercise. Used that best material for it's this. all over, Hi. so you'll have to go over to Go Bish Go. <laughs> That's the site I use for all of my um, my my working out. So um, yeah, so it's already been a great start. So anyways, I am Tracy, not running Tracy today. I am knitting Tracy uh, from <laughs> Low Country Shrimp and Knits, and with me is Judy from Maggie Loves Yarn. So I'm, and not working out, Judy, and not working out, Judy. At least on this site, she has her other site, but that's rare. Healthy people make me sick. <laughs> Yes, well, I have to say, one of the most flattering things that's been said about me, because usually it's very unflattering, but uh, oh, Judy, Judy's like, you know what, um, you know what, it's, uh, people shouldn't wear that unless it's, um, unless it's Tracy. <laughs> I think you were talking about, like, uh, joggers or uh, yoga uh, pants. You know, Lululemon. Lululemon. <laughs> French version, Lululemon. Lululemon. Oh, that's so fancy. So anyway, good morning. It's it's already off to a crazy start. And as we stated on my other page, I'm going to repeat here. Mother Nature, you're drunk. It's time to go home. Okay. It is too darn cold when you live in Bluffton, South Carolina. You don't sign up for this. We didn't sign up for this. It's going to be wind chill factors of zero tonight. Zero. Zero. The beaches have turned off all of their showers. So, like, if you're but down you know, there. I've said Myrtle Beach does that all the time. Yeah, but Myrtle Beach does get colder. Yeah, they do. They, they do get, get a they lot. They get a lot colder, colder than here. So I've, you know, I've been here almost three years, and I've, I've not seen, seen that, that before. Never. I've been okay. down here fifteen years. Okay. I've never seen that. Yeah. So it's 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 getting cold, and of course, my dumbass signed up for the run tomorrow morning, which is running over the bridges in Hilton <laughs> Island. Hmm. Toast, toasty warm. It's supposed you to be like twenty four degrees. Our first year that we lived down here it was seventy five degrees Christmas Day. You just don't know. It was great. Yeah. Santa Claus wore shorts. Santa. It was, it was yeah. wonderful. So when I do my, my jingle frozen run tomorrow morning, think of, think warm thoughts. Actually, this think fast thoughts for me because I can run myself warm, but I definitely um, need some speed to get That's what I was it. saying. I was here last night. I was taking all my samples home. I need my hat. <laughs> I need my mittens. Oh, yeah, those socks. She, I need those tonight. She left too. here walking out like this. Like, <laughs> I can't put my arms down. So. <laughs> my favorite. We turn that on and we leave it on the whole 24 hours. Oh, this is the Christmas story is, yeah. is one of the best. The Christmas vacation is my, my favorite, but the Christmas story is. Christmas story. The writing in it is so good. The way that they, the, 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 the speaking of, of, you know, the. It's always been our favorite. We always so have good. left it on. We turn it on. We would turn it on at 8 p.m. Well, my husband and I went to see it at the movies on Christmas Day. We didn't have kids yet, you know, when it opened. Yeah. We la literally wet our pants. Oh, it's so good. It was it's so, so funny. funny. We went on Thanksgiving Day, I think it was, in the afternoon. And, and uh, it's always been our favorite. And like I said, even with the kids, we would leave it on. We would go to midnight Christmas Eve surveys. Come right. back. It would be still be on. on. And, you know, we would just turn off the sound. Down so the good. And leave it on. Oh, it's so good. It's so much fun. Yeah, I like, I like that one. We'll watch definitely once. I like the Christmas vacation. The kids can put on, you know, whatever. We watched that a few weeks ago. We, my kids love The Grinch. They'll watch The Grinch, especially really? the Jim Carrey one. I never liked The Grinch. So, yeah, they like the Jim Carrey one, and, and they'll keep that on and watch it multiple times throughout the year. So um, so here's some trivia. Okay. The person who sings You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch, is the same person who voices Tony the Tiger cereal. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I didn't I place it before. I but... that does nothing but Christmas music from November 1st on. But what I like is they give little trivia stuff, yeah. you know, in between the songs about who this is and then who sang this. And it's like, oh, well, that's cool. Well, with the Christmas story, isn't that, um, oh, gosh, what's his name? I can't remember who wrote it. But it's, it's uh, In God We Trust, All Lots of Pay Cash. Yes. That's actually Benchley. the book. Was his last name Benchley? I can't remember. No, Peter Benchley. Well, see, they did. Guy. They did. Gene, um, um, I think it was like Gene something. Yeah. They yeah. did. Um, I think it's on though. We get we don't get HBO or Showtime or whatever. They did a, a like a reboot, mm -hmm. a, se a sequel. Yeah. Like he comes back with his kids to the yeah. house yeah. or whatever. And so I haven't seen it. I haven't heard much about it. He, so he, he was, saw it. Would he you was, send it to me. I can't he was it. also in Elf. He was the one of the um, head elves, I think, in Elf. Oh, okay. The movie Elf. Yeah. With the but you can always tell him by his blue eyes. So, um, so anyway, so we've got that going on. I'm also extra, if, you, if you've noticed, extra vampy today. Check out these talons. I have got a glam wedding on New Year's Eve. So the girls and I are getting bedazzled and bedecked for and this. And I have no nails. I broke them all off laying 
wreaths on the wreaths across America or dyeing them blue this week for you. Yeah, so, well, that's, you know, it's a, a I mean, a worthy cause across the board. So we did get some new dyes in. Now, first of all, we got some, the, one of the best sellers of all of my yarns here at the shop is uh, Judy's, which is, of course, Maggie Loves Yarn is her brand. It's called Mermaid's Tail, and I literally can't keep it in. So I said, listen, next time you make it, could you make me two? Because then at least I'll have a backup. Because I just do it in my laundry room. I don't have room for big, right, it's, I'm not a big when she's got time dyer, right so. when she's got time and i mean she's a crazy busy lady and i only have her doing like seven thousand projects at a time i don't know what her problem is but anyway <laughs> that's another story so so she did two she brought me two and they were gorgeous she's got this new kind of sparkly what's it called stelina 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 that she uh, so beautiful i'm like, able oh, to find more I'm like, oh i love it it looks so good it looks so so good it didn't even last four hours they were gone didn't even last four hours, and they were both so gone. they're drying now. So I will have them so, in next week because I get to play store with them. Next yes. Week. So next week, as I as I said, we're getting glammed because I am driving up. Um, because nothing says mm, New Year's Eve like Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, New York. But Is that where the icicles drop at midnight? I think at midnight, <laughs> yes. And then we, we go into hypothermia, and then we thaw out six weeks later. I think that's how it works. But, we see uh, shadow. Yes, when we see a shadow, and then we thaw. <laughs> we're like those frogs, and all of a sudden we're like, oh, we're back. So um, so I'll be doing that. Um, well, it's so cold that they said the iguanas will be dropping. From the trees in Florida, which they I do, have to freeze. say. It doesn't they, kill them, but they, they freeze. Little stunned, they, like. <laughs> people get hit by falling iguanas. <laughs> I, I mean, it just, I mean, the poor things and the people that get hit by them and the cars and everything, but... Can you imagine driving and all of a sudden this iguana goes, doink, the car the windshield? No, it's horrible. Ah! Oh, it's horrible, and yet we're horrible people because here we are laughing at it. So, yes, that would definitely be something that I would I would laugh quite a bit at. Well, I had to drag all the plants in this morning and um, because I have a lot of really covered. beautiful... My, I've got... This gorgeous, gorgeous spider plant, which actually there's a there's a story behind it. So um, it's just this beautiful, really grown, gorgeous spider plant. Well, my, my parents got divorced when I was five, and when my dad moved out on his own, that was his little plant. Was this little tiny spider plant, and it's still the same plant. And so my stepmother gave it to me years ago, and so now I don't want anything to happen to it because I, you know, they kept it alive all those years. I'm like, ah. So uh, yeah, we had to drag the thing in, but it weighs 11 million pounds. So Troy's like, I'll get the dolly out. So we're trying to pull this thing in this morning in my pajamas. He's like, it's not a good idea to move things in your slippers. I'm like, oh, that's what I got. I know, feet. we got it in the cover. Gordon know, built so. this little tarp thing over it and it's driving Maggie nuts because that's not supposed to be out there. Well, yeah, no. And we're babysitting fish and I'm af I'm afraid if we lose heat or what? something, no. the, the fish will die. You're babysitting fish? Why do fish yeah. need to be babysat? I don't know, they need to be fed twice a day. But you can't. A couple little betas. <laughs> they have really cool tanks. So it's by my, it's, it, we have like recessed by the there's a fireplace and then it's recessed on either side with shelves and stuff so we have it sitting there on the thing next to me it has a button and you can change it all different colors so last night it was changing from blues to green Ooh. it's really pretty that it was pretty. cute two little betas they're I live they're together cute. they live together and they get along i think they got along i don't know where they were fighting don't you don't be fighting think I kept yeah i can't time. i think betas are supposed to live together but i don't know if they figured out a way good for them betas. i don't know but they were they're cute they're only about that big yeah we had I feed them so yesterday i fed them you showed me how to do it and i put the cap on the cap didn't, the cap flipped off <laughs> i spilled half the food so now that you know my knitting area smells like fish it smells like a break so i don't get those yeah so it's it's, I'm it's trying it's to scoop good. it back why, in this is why we can't have nice things too. i know i know why, so i'm taking care of them madrid and shadow that's their madrid name madrid and shadow i like it I like it. So anyway, back to the your yarn. So we do have a couple in if you are around. Now, next week, Judy is running the show here at Low Country Shrimp and Knits. So I'm not sure what I'm coming back to, but she's already put out signs for a kegger and, you know, some kind of block party. So we are having cocktail hour. Good. I love it. I love it. New. Cocktail hour starts at noon. It's five o'clock somewhere. Not here, but somewhere. So this is the one. If you are in town, we have the most beautiful church here. It's called Church of the Cross. So this one, we, this one sells pretty quickly because it's Church of the Cross is very well known uh, for this area. Some place to visit. Oh, you always go and get pictures. Stunning. And then stunning. I got it. I brought you in two new ones. Two new ones. So this one is called Toboggan Weather. And Judy, what gave you the impetus for this? Oh, one? because I was looking on Pinterest and they had this stack of. Um, Toboggans, and they had one in that shade of blue and one in that shade of pumpkin. And I went, oh, let's put the two together and see what it looks like. So, so now it's called Toboggan Weather. Now this one I love because these are all my colors. And so this one, we've, she's called Frost. And it is, <coughs> Which is all perfect for down here this week. Yes, this week it's it's. And perfect. I think we're going to try it with the Stellina. I think that'll just be. Just a little bit of sparkle just, in it. Just, look at my nails. I'm like Vanna White. Like, look at this. 
This is so very amazing. So, yes, these we've got here. So come on in because they're all one of a kind. Uh, we also got a new yarn color in. And now Vintage vintage by Barocco is my go-to yarn here. It is definitely the one I have the most of, most different colors. It is a good, solid yarn to it's play with. It is a workhorse yarn. That's the perfect name for it. So it's, it's a good price point. There are a lot of yards to it. There are 218 yards on a hank of this. Now, um, the good thing is that I'd steer a lot of people with. It's a little thicker, so it's kind of this worsted weight. They call it number four. Um, you know, all companies with their weights, everything's always a little. I, you, I just kind of go, well, well, here's what I think it is. Here's what they say it is, but um, vintage is a good solid yarn, plus it's machine washable and dryable. So this is something that would be an excellent um, project piece, especially if you're going to make something that you know that the people don't want to hand wash. And it's pretty so. in color work. Beautiful. It, and it's great if you're a beginner. Yes. I would use it as a beginner because it's very forgiving. It's And it's not super splitty. It doesn't split. You can rip it out and it, it's... And, and it, it holds shape, it. Yeah, it doesn't get everything. all like... So this is the new color that we got here. All right. Um, and of course, I just blanked on the name of it. Okra. 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 So okra is in. So we do. And I think I, I mean, I must have like 30 different 30. I think 38 or oh, 39 she, she different colors. Tons of colors. So we have a few more coming in after the new year. Um, so we'll talk about those. So some other yarns that we just got in that are new uh, fiber company. Fiber company is one of my absolute favorites. It's, it's my favorite. It is just beautiful. Their, their yarn is gorgeous. And it just the, the, the road to China light, which I know I tell everybody about, but it is the most gorgeous, soft, beautiful luxurious yarn um and then we've got this new one in by them it's not new to them it's just new to my shop so this one's called lore and it is wool and it is absolutely nice but it's not that scratchy yucky like <laughs> wool that some some companies have um this Loopy. one yes lopi uh, lopi makes really Loopy great is gorgeous but gorgeous but it's living in the <sighs> in iceland I don't and it's think so it. scratchy and well even to the idea to work with it makes me cringe a little bit but so we got lore in and um so this we've got a couple of these colors this is great for color work we do a ton of color work here especially i'm in love with that camel isn't that mm. so beautiful so um so these are the four colors that we just got in for lore and we have a ton of color work and so starting in january if this is something that you're interested in and even if you don't live here in the bluffton area we can always do an online zoom class with you if this is something that you're interested in and in getting the philosophy and we are going to steak we're going to so, learn to steak this is we've got scares little me. projects we're going to start you off the first day and we're, we're going to talk about the and we're going to do do the house but mm -hmm. then we're going to Start you on a little project. It's yep. just only going to be like a rectangle. Yep. And then the next week, the next time we meet, we're going to steak it. So we've got that to look forward to. So this is something you're interested in. And we've got a whole color theory because, um, you know, a lot of times people come in and they are like, oh, I don't know, what does this go with? And so Judy's going to talk you through on ways to kind of put yarns together, something that pops, something that doesn't pull the eye, all those different uh, ways to put a whole bunch of colors together that make sense and actually will make you the most beautiful. People go, oh, where did you get that? And you'll be like, I freaking made it. Yes, I did. So we get that coming up in January. So that's something to look forward to. Don't you wonder though sometimes when people say, did you make that? And you're like, why? Why? What's wrong with it? Are you are you judging me? I, know, I did I did unless you think it sucks. Is it, is it something about the third arm? <laughs> I did the unless you think it sucks. To be and then there? Judy made it. <laughs> if you liked it, my name is Judy. If you didn't, my name is Tracy. Yeah. <laughs> so this is just a fun yarn I wanted to bring out for today. It's by Wool and the Gang. It's called Feeling Good Yarn, and this does feel good. Oh, it's so so squishy and soft. It feels like one of those stuffed animals when you were a kid that you just loved so much, and it got a uh, little velveteen rabbited uh, you know a throw made out of that oh today. yeah just Let's so for today. fluffy and cozy you don't need to marl it with anything it's got the nice amount of halo to it um so we I've, it's got other colors too but these are the I'm three that those. order these are the yeah. three that um actually somebody had ordered for a project and i'm like oh i love those so they are beautiful and super squishy so wool in the gang this is something absolutely beautiful they have crazy sexy wool as well and i'll just grab one of them um it is, it is fun. The name makes me.
makes me laugh, which is kind of why I started ordering it. But um, and it makes a really quick hat. You need a couple for a scarf to give the length. That's super chunky, so it works up really quickly. Um, so these do well now. We've had a lot of people we had in the last week that are using the big, huge needles. Big, huge which needles, which surprises me for down here. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people are sending them north, and in the winter, it is okay to work on these cozy projects. And today is the day we go like do 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 do. I'm getting out my blanket. Sweater out. weather. Make sure that everything you've been working on, this is your time. This is the weekend for it. So we do have Crazy Sexy Yarn here, Crazy Sexy Wool, excuse me, um, available for you. And I can always order it. And then, again, we're back to the fiber company um, because this is a lot of fun. I wanted to just kind of throw some more colors into the mix of what we have here. So Meadow is beautiful. It is a very thin... It's one of the prettiest greens. I, it's, it's my color it's called spring ostrich. green. I love it's spring green. It's called ostrich fern. It's got a great name to it, too. So it is a thin fingering weight. You know, it's not quite lace weight, but it is fingering color weight. Work. Color work. Oh color work will be gorgeous with this. Um, it comes with a lot of yardage, too. So I love that because, you know, it's got 498 meters and 545 yards of yarn. So we have this color in ostrich fern, and then we have this one in Queen Anne's lace. Just this beautiful light, you know, kind of off-white color. Well, this is called alfalfa. Yeah. I don't think of alfalfa as being blue. See, that is more like a, yeah... When I think of alfalfa, it's I think green. of more like a wheat color. Isn't that right with alfalfa? I don't, I don't know. I think it, I think more like gr green myself. But so then we've got this. This one is really fun too. Alfalfa. We this just talked one about. I can't pronounce. This one is bergamot. Bergamot. So here we go. It's got this really pretty red. The lavender that they use, um, I have I've been carrying this f since the beginning in um, Road to China. But it's got really pretty, just uh, some hints of blue in here and some tan. When you knit it, it is so pretty. Oh, it's it looks just it looks gorgeous. Marled, almost. It's just gorgeous. And so, and this last one is bed straw. And they do have some other colors too. So we're just trying to kind of expand our palettes here. And, and you see. know what? She's got the color card. So if you you know you I like the yarn but not the color. Online, online you too. Know my we order. Order. Tracy can order that. You can, can order it for it. I actually can this time. So, and I know what I'm doing. I'm going to order these. So we do have these to play with. And again, as we've got color work coming up, this is the time. Okay, this is the time to start practicing all these different designs because now you've got it. When you say I can make you this for Christmas, you actually have 12 months to whip it out. And and you know, um, <clears throat> and look on Ravelry. Everything is color work mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Everything is color mm -hmm. work. And we have an extra master uh, color work person. Her name's Judy. It's her over there, and she's she's uh, she's definitely um, the person that can help you understand best how to do it, and, and oh. you know we will make sure that she has a uh, we we laugh. There's a lot of laughing, so there should you, you get frustrating and hard at times. Nothing nothing that you're starting off is like oh I got this it's so easy. No, no dude, no. anything new is no, hard. But color work is fun. I mean, these are the oh, first these ones are so cute! Ever ones I ever did. Oh, these are so cute! Look at these little mittens. They've got little flamingos on them. Oh, they are so cute. And then last year, I wanted to try, I really wanted to try the Norwegian Latvian type. So I did the Latvian braid, which is so easy. Is it, it really is easy. I was surprised. All I right, went, you're going to have to show me Because it always that. looks so tough. It's I know. Not. And that's with Mermaid's Tail, the, the yarn. Oh, look at that. All right, here we go. And that, Mermaid's and that, Tail. Um, there it is. It's called Dancing Dragonflies. So this it is, is, and this is so the back. so much And it's got... Do. A little bit of sparkle you can see from the Stellina. It just is. They're so beautiful. But I was always they afraid really of so Latvian beautiful. braid. And I was like, is that, is that it? That's all there is to it? Actually, I was thinking of you last night, which it sounds creepier than it is. Okay. Um, I was looking through Pinterest as I'm like, as I'm trying to doze off to sleep. I'm like, ooh, Judy. No. Um, they had intro to how to do the, is it called Chinese waitress cast on? <gasps> I just love the name. I of know. So Judy's always like, I'm going to learn this. I'm going to learn this Chinese. I've tried, and then there's like 15 steps to get one stitch on, and I'm like, no. I can't commit to this. No, this I is know. too much work. No. But I, I saved it because I thought, well, that would be a funny class. Maybe we just do, you know, one different quick thing here with different cast ons. I'm thinking of, you know, throwing out a few different, like, reels, you know, different, different stitches. You know. Yep, different stitches, different cast ons. We've done that yeah. before. Different bind offs. Yep. So we can we can start to do that in the new year. We're looking we're looking ahead to the yeah, new year. Yeah, let us know. Would 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 you like to come in one day just for like an hour and and just learn something without having to bring in yarn and everything, but mm -hmm. maybe just or bring in you know practice yarn yeah. and just just something oh, scrap that. Stitch. We've done that before in the knitting group I'm in. 
um, we were done round table. Yeah. Where well, we did it for two hours. Everybody was at it. You know, had five people at a table, and you spent twenty minutes learning something, and that, then you moved that would on be to fun. the next one. See, that's how and that was fun. We always did that when I was fun. teaching. We had uh, you know different tables set up for different activities when I was teaching. So one of the most fun we ever had was the the round robin color work. Oh yeah, wow. you've told me about that. Yeah. That sounds so much fun. That was fun. We started. There were six of us, and we started in. We actually started in October because you had to get your yarn mm -hmm. and then you picked out patterns you wanted because it is a total color work cow. And um, you picked out the patterns you wanted, the, the yarns you wanted, and you started it. Mm -hmm. And then you put it in a box that couldn't be seen. And then every month we met at a coffee shop and I, I figured out the rotation and we passed it to the next person. And you weren't allowed to add other yarns. You could not add other yarns because those were the colors they wanted. And you picked which motif you wanted oh, to use. Fine. So you had to do the motif and then a divider for the next one. So it really does look Scandinavian. Right. I need to bring it in sometime. Oh, that's cool. And it, we did it for six months, and then we got ours back. And that must have been so Oh, it was oh, so what a great to, gift. Oh, and everybody yeah. used different ones. And then I added more that they didn't use, yeah. you know, just to make it a little bit longer. Yeah. But it was fun because my one friend, she had never done it before and she was really excited, but she wasn't sure. So she just did boats, 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 boats. No, what did she put? She wasn't boats. Oh, little whales, whales, whales. So my other friend and I, we were really good friends with her. We sat her down before the last two. And we went, okay, Judy. Her name was Judy, too. We get a yours for the next two. Okay. She said, can we add something? And she's like, no, we just need to add to the whales. And she's right. like, okay. So I added boats, and Deb added lighthouses, oh, and it came fun. out so That's cute. fun. I love but that. But that's one of the neatest things. And I'll tell you what, you would think, oh, I've got to be a really good knitter to do that. I think uh, there was one other person, um, Christine, who was from Norway, mm -hmm. and unbelievable stuff. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Yeah. And me. And nobody else had done color work before. Oh, nice. And it was great. It was, yeah. they said, oh, we learned so much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well. I'll have to bring it in. It was so much fun. And when I posted on Ravelry, I had so many people go, oh, that's such a great yeah, idea. Yeah, what a fun, what a fun And project. the name of the, the cow is called My Favorite Things. Look it up on Ravelry. All right. And it's. To check it out. And that's, that's what fun. we did. Because somebody put my dog, Duke, at the time. And then somebody else put knitting needles in a yarn and I can't remember what somebody else put but it was all stuff that related to me and it was fun that's that's fun I love that I love that when it's fun so um all right so let's talk about we do have like I said we have some color work classes coming up but we do have um my fabulous crochet instructor Nancy has just I, I can't believe how fast she's like here I was just you know before know, we were just before breakfast so before breakfast I thought I'd just whip out this market bag I'm like okay so here is um we're gonna do a class on crocheting uh, this is two different market bags that you can come play with. And this is this is nice, fun, soft cotton, just a straight cotton. Um, and this, this cotton that we used is a really good price point. It's called uh, Fiber Nature True Cotton True Sport here. And this is only $4. So you get, you know, you can make a project with, without it being like, and this is my $7,000 market bag. Isn't yeah, that wonderful? Throw food in. Yeah. And so it's, you know, it's cotton, so you can wash it. And, you know, we've got that. This is the one that I love. And this is she used with Vivo, which is one of the yarns. It's a lighter. It's a cotton. You can, you can wash it as well. And it's just, it's got absolutely beautiful fun so yeah she's like well stuff it full of stuff and i'm like okay but i haven't done that yet so um so yeah so we've got that going on here um so make sure that you're signing up because the classes i've got a tiny shop hopefully hopefully in this new year my shop will be expanding but that's, your new year's resolution. that's my that's my my resolution is to get bigger baby we're growing here so um so you know that's what's going on here i know i had a couple people come in this week looking for eucalyn and um bryson just sent me a whole bunch Bunch of really great um, scents for that. You'll have to test them out for me because I still can't. I have no sense of smell still, almost nope. two years we later after COVID. This, we've talked about this yarn, but so, we haven't shown what it looks like knitted up. Yep. So this is almost yep. done. So, and I got some more needles in, so make sure you stop in and check out all my new Bryson stuff because we got some beautiful stuff here for the holidays. Carries if you're looking for a needles. last minute, I do have some great needles. needles. We have some great needles here. So, um, Chagu, too. I just got some more Chagus in. Somebody was asking for those. So, anyway, this yarn is super fun. It's called Easel, okay? And it's by Universal Yarn. And Judy, God love her, is making me a sample sock. And this yarn is amazing because it does all the color work all for you. All I'm doing is just straight knitting around. Look at this. The heel. Look how cute that is. 
underneath here. So this is, all she's doing is a straight knit, sort of, like, like a stockinette stitch. So you could do this yep. too in a scarf or do, something like that, a sweater. Two by two ribbing. Yep. And then you just start knitting till it's like six. I usually go six, six and a quarter. Yep. Then I do my heel. And then I do straight around to seven and a half inches and then I do my toes. So this is super cute and super fun. And so you really look like you That's got more experience. That's what it looks like when you knit it up. Which is so, crazy because this is what it looks like in the, in the skein. So you can't even imagine that you're going to get this with it. Um, but yeah, so thank you. Isn't it cute? So cute. I should have that done by the time you get back. Hey, you're so good to me. For the okay. kegger, she's going to take a break from get, all our kegging. I'll have to make the other one and then take it. But oh, I still got to do that. So, so yeah. Um, so those are some things we've got going on. Now I meant to bring, uh, um, my project that I've been working on pressed flowers and it's gotten, it's gotten to the point where I'm now about a half an hour each row. I'm like, and it's not big enough yet because I went with kind of, um, different yarn than they normally do. So, well, it's a tighter. It's a tighter stitch. You're a lot tighter with it. And mine was because I use... I'm not saying you're loose, but... I am loose. I am saying that, Beth yeah. Beth say so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that was for the other channel. Sorry. Sorry. That was um, earlier. You missed that. Yeah, but uh, you, you are using a little heavier yarn. Yeah. And you are knitting it a little bit tighter. And I used the yarn I used with a lot. It was... I didn't not, think I was a tight was knitter, a but I guess I must be. You're tight. Um, thanks. The single ply and mine was just a little drapier. <laughs> yeah. I so could cut it off a lot sooner than you could. So yeah. And I have to order some more of that because I but had more, but gorgeous. the color is, uh, the She'll color gets snagged up. In the spring. I am teaching it. It's coming up in February. So yeah. if you want to take that class, it is a really good way to just kind of work on your basics. It's not a difficult pattern. It's just following the pattern that becomes a little bit challenging, but there is really, it's just adding one, make one left, make one right a couple of times. And, you, and, and then understanding you slip and understanding how the slip stitch works. So it's not a difficult pattern, but it can get a little tedious. So I don't work on it constantly because after a while you're like, I haven't gone anywhere. I'm still on the same row. Oh my God. So <laughs> it's good for binge watching. Once you get the pattern right, down, you have to, it's good for binge. Watching. Yeah. Once you get it on and, and then you go with two rows where you just knit the same color across it. And so you start the next pattern over again. And then that one you really have to pay attention to because that's all counting and making sure you're in the right Look spot. it up on Ravelry and it's just beautiful. look at the Press color flowers. combinations. So uh, many, so many color combinations. That's where I saw blue and yellow decided I wanted to do my It's own. It's beautiful. My, the one I chose, um, I actually chose because the name of the yarn um, right. from Malabrigo was uh, Diane, which is my mom's name and my mom passed in October. So I thought, well, this will be nice, a way to have something, um, you know, that kind of memorializes her. And she's the one that taught me to knit. So I thought that would be kind of a nice thing. Um, so I'm working on that. So hopefully when I get back from my road trip, I will have some work done. Although I don't know, I don't know with these things. I don't know how like trying to knit. It's like the ridiculous thing. I don't know how people live with these I, I can't. I always crack up when people are doing stuff and they're ringing you up and all they're doing oh, is like, like this. Oh, this is like when I'm on my phone now, I'm like, eh, eh. yeah, so these are not going to last, but I'm going to look damn, damn good like the on New Year's Eve. Oh, I do like this too. Yeah, New Year's Eve, I'm going to be rocking it. But after that, these are going to, goodbye. So, um, all right, this is the one that I've been working on in the shop. So a couple weeks ago, I showed this. This one is called I'm blanking on the name. Timber. Timber. Thank you. <laughs> it's going down. I'm yelling timber. So um, I had it, but there was a part when I had gone backwards. So my this is um, right here. It's not super complicated here, but it's got the twisted rib stitch. And so I had gotten off and my twists, I twisted when I should have turned and turned when I should have twisted. And yeah. And so there was definitely a section that I was like, oh God, I can't unsee it. So I had to pull the whole thing, frog, frog, frog. And so, and I've been working on it when I'm in the shop, but it's been busy, so, which is a great thing. It's a terrific thing, but I haven't had any selfish time. Plus we had finals this week, and then I just get college students whining about why they should, it's not fair, I was, was, I was having time and mental anguish and blah, blah, blah. Like, you didn't do your homework like that. You didn't do it. You know, yeah, that's stressful. You didn't have that language. You didn't do your homework. You see, you're great. Right. Right. I just can't get an F to my transcript. I'm like, you have a 19%. You're getting an F on your transcript. There's no rounding up there, dude. 19. It is what it is. 19. So 
That was that. So anyway, I didn't get very far. Well, the moral of the story. Coming fast. Now, but fast. the challenge is now I need to get all the rest added on, and it's all like, you know, subtract one, carry the X, and then round up to the nearest thousand and try to pass it, this. It, but you, you, that's one that you just can't skip a, a direction. You yeah, no. Got a really look, you're going to be backwards. But look at this. This is all one row of blah 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 blah. blah. So, but I've made it twice, and I love it. I guess, I guess if you've done it, I could try it. I never made ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I, neither have I since I burned it in the parking Ooh, lot. And Rosalie's coming today. Yes, yeah, someone, girl. someone needs help with it. I'm like, you know, I'm not your girl. If you need help with ranunculus, I'm, uh, I'm not your girl. So, so anyway, that is kind of You're where. You're working on that. I have been working on that when I, when I, I have a few moments. I'm working on this, the. Kavalava. 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 So, as you know, yes. I'm doing the cover one, but I'm not doing it in the bulky. I'm doing it in DK. You, as you know, Judy doesn't do anything the way she's supposed to do it. She does it her Judy way. She's a middle child. She's a middle child syndrome, and she just does it like, yeah, well, I'm not doing left, it that way. I'm going right. Right. So, so. Uh, every, every step of the way, she's like, yeah, you know how it says I should do this? I'm not doing that. I'm going to do this instead. What do you think? And I'm like, well, we've had discussions we because have. we've decided that um, I still wanted it, the, the motif to be large, so I, it, I just double the number of stitches on the Pattern. chart. Right. So if it says four, I do eight or whatever, because otherwise they, we decided it would be too tiny. But it's this also like not this. going to be, and I'm not going to make it as long. Are you, because you're not making this neck this long, are you? I don't think so, but this, this is, is such is soft kind of yarn, it's going to drape anyway, yeah. so it might be pretty. It might be like... Yeah, I mean, I love a good kind of turtleneck cowly look but I, I so then we decided so then i talked about it's because of that i i had to double the number of stitches on here obviously now not actually double it i figured out i had to go uh add one fourth more because the first time so i did it math. i know God, it so worked. much math well because the first time i tried it with was it with this Maybe. that i don't know one of them i tried uh -huh. and i did need to double it. and then i forgot that i used a different yarn i'm using the the, what you gonna call it this here? This is ultra the alpaca, alpaca light, and it's a little heavier. It really so that's is. that's the yarn she's using. It's nice and squishy alpaca. Oh, it's lovely. So then I figured out well, I only need one fourth. So I have been kind of measuring, and I know that this when I measured this, this would be at this point. Um, follow along, right here. <laughs> try and try about here. fifty-five inches, which is good, which is way too big for me. But then you think you've got to separate for sleeves. Right. So once I take that off. It's going to be about the size I need because I still got another forty-four inches to add on. That's so pretty. Because I still have look one more set. Look how good our are. No, they're not. Look at how good Don't they look are. Close. I'm showing the world. I think they look they're lovely. Cool. It even looks pretty on this side. So yeah, look at this so far. I mean, it's just it so gorgeous. It looks like a space alien. At it this does point. a little bit look over like like a like a. Wear well, it's supposed oh. to be a fish jumping up and a monster pushing it back down in the water. Okay. It, that's what we're thing. calling it. I, well, that's, that's what it is fish according eyes. to this. I read the design. So it. But it is going to be pretty. It's just going to be a different little design. So then we decided, Beautiful. and I talked about the fact, I do want it to come down a little bit longer than right here. I want it to come down more like right here. Yes. You know, like the top of she the She wants ears. to have fish eye boobs. So we decided, again, conferencing with um, Tracy, that maybe since it's right here, the separation, you want to take it up yep. there, show the separation, so I could add instead of one row, right do like here. four or five. Yep, so she's going to kind of stretch it out in this area to give it a little more length so it goes a, a little lot. bit longer. So I've done two around, and you can barely see it, but it's like right there. Yep. So I, that's not much. No. That's like half an inch. Yeah. So I'm probably going to do four or five. Okay. And then go back to finishing it off. Yeah. And I think that'll give me length. Um, I've still got another 44 inches to put on, so that's going to make it, it's going to make it a good size. And, and then what I'll do is when I get to the done, done with the chart, because I'm about halfway through the chart now. So do you continue down through the pattern and then separate the sleeves? I come down to about here yep. and then, you know, take off of the sleeves yep. like you do for almost all the others. Yep. And then come back to it and add the sleeves on. Okay. Yeah. So, and I'm not going to make it as long. No. So, I know I have plenty of yarn to do what I want to do. In fact, maybe too much. Um, and I'm not making it as long. I don't right. like it that so long. So here is just, again, to look at for reference. This is what it's going to look like, the finished product. But she's going to cut it up more waist as opposed to kind of lower on the hips. Yeah. So I'm going to make that a little bit longer there. And then I'm going to try the barber things. I'm going to put, actually put these on the barber.
barbers and separate them, the, the barber strips, mm -hmm. the things, the, and the actually springy, try it on. Springy needle condom yeah, because things? because I can't right now because I've got them crammed on there. And then try it on and see, and I think I'll be okay. If not, you're going to hear a lot of screaming okay. because I will rip it all out and yes. start again. Because I did go down a size. Yes. And I so know. I'm and I'm really pleased because when I stop and I measure this, because it was at five, five inches, it's a little bit more than that now because I added on, I uh, increased. Uh, and I had 11 around, so yeah. that's 55, and I went, oh, that's perfect, because I want it to be low, like 49, so that gives me plenty, plenty here to space. break off. And even if I break it off here, I can add more here. Yeah. Can, so um, I'm kind of excited. But this is why she's the master knitter, because I, I don't even know what the hell she just said. But you know what? This is the first time ever in my life I've done it, and I think Switch it's math. just because you've made me do so much shit here that I... <laughs> That I've got, I've increased You can my do confidence. this, right? You can do this. <laughs> so, I don't know how to do that. Just ask Judy. She'll do so, it. So, <laughs> uh, Tracy can order. Um, so, I think I think it's going to work. I really do. And I'm, I'm excited. Really, really pleased. It's going to be beautiful. And it's going to be, I, I know, I'm excited. I need so. to get some of those barber cords. Hey, Bryson, I need to get some barber cords in here. So, put those on my list. All right. So, all the so, yeah, we'll have to get some of those. They're fun yeah, to play Yeah, the barber with. So, I think, I think, we're gonna, so, there's another one in here. See this just now? When we is this going to be your honeymoon sweater since this is the one you're marrying? No, I'm not marrying this one. But I do love that one. Yeah, you're definitely not going to marry this one. But this one's pretty. Look at this pattern. And you can do, so she had a sweater on that had these shorter sleeves yesterday and long sleeves underneath it. I, I can't do that. It would drive me insane. But she oh. looks so cute in her little sweater. Thank you. So it cute in her blues. sweater. This would look pretty in that. That would look pretty in that. And then put it with that. Oh, yes. Oh, look baby. At, there we go. So for this pattern with or, this yarn. Or even these. I like these two colors. I do. These, these, are the, right. these are the colors that I chose just to that's my next, well, my next one, you know, I have to get, I have to do that. Yeah. That overlay, but that'll be easy and quick. Yeah. Well, that but one's... I'll start on that, but I think this is going to be my next sweater. Maybe. I had somebody come in. Oh gosh, I can't, I'm throwing you, I'm sorry, I'm just going to throw a softball at you here. Some woman came in and she was making, do you remember the one that we called the Charlie Brown sweater? It's an Andrea Mowry's last sweater yes, that she, one, the, new the one. newest one. So somebody came okay. in to get all the fun yarn for it. So I'm excited. It's going to be. Yeah, yeah, I liked it, but then she goes, oh, she goes, I love that. And I'm looking at it and I went, I think I would look like Charlie Brown. No, she's. Because I'm round like Charlie Brown. I'm so. round like Charlie Brown. You have way more hair than so Charlie Andrew Brown. So Andrea Mowry, though, is taking a break. We Our actually had a couple, yeah, a couple of sad announcements. Did you hear taps this week? Cause there I, was a I know. Times. There's a couple times this week we've heard some sad, sad news. You can tell the one that you broke to me. Shibui. Nitz is going out, of going out of business. They're retiring. Mm -hmm. so. It's kind of scary because a lot of these companies, and I understand they've been around forever, and the people want to retire, and nobody wants to take them over. Right. Well, I mean, that's always work. It's it always work. work. It and these work. are hard times. So I always, because uh, my husband's a businessman, so we always look at stuff that affects business. So I'm always looking at the yarn reports, which you wouldn't think they have. They have yarn and wool oh, and ugly. cotton reports. And so right now, cotton prices are going up um, because a lot of cotton comes from India. And then India, with everything that's going on between China with COVID and the war that's going on with the Ukraine, it's really affecting the industry. So therefore their prices are going up and it's you know and then of course it, it just rolls downhill so then all of the manufacturers so this is the time of year we start getting the notices from the companies with whom we work to say by the way <laughs> price is going up in such and such a date and sometimes these prices are i mean really big jumps i had ordered um, from Lantern Moon through so my, my Bryson people um, some of the tape measures which I absolutely love and they sell really well I normally sell them um, for $15 they're and so they cute. they raised they went up I mean so much and they're now $25 that, that's how much they've you know, raised it it's really crazy yourself, I'm do like I want to pay $25 for a tape measure and I was like oh my gosh I wouldn't have ordered it if I had paid it it's my own fault I mean they have the prices I wasn't paying attention because I was just like yeah a couple more of these a couple more of those and oh they came in and I'm like, why is this so much? Oh my goodness. So prices are going up. They, we just got the notification from um, Barocco that even my vintage, my vintage is going up. So, you know, and unfortunately then we have to push all those prices, especially as little tiny businesses that are trying to survive and trying to survive here in Bluffton where they're keep raising the rents here so astronomically that they're pushing all little businesses out. Each week we hear about places that have been here for so long that just can't survive. Um, you know, what do we lose? It's uh, a sipping, scary time, sipping cow. but knitting is bigger than ever right now. That's right. And especially color work. And, and I'm surprised. 
I am because I love color work and I don't mind doing a sweater that I can wear, you know, here or there or yeah. whatever. And, you know, even in the spring, I wore a lot of these. And with climate change, it is sometimes the weather gets colder cool. here than it's it cool. should. Yeah. And, um, but that's me. And I'm surprised the number of people that come in. And even though we're down here, they're they're doing color work too. The number well, you know what? of people it's that beautiful. come in and show, come, and, and it's so they're not challenging. They don't mind when you're doing color work, and you've got that much work and that much time in something. Right. You're gonna want nice yarn. Right, of course. And then you know what? So I had this woman come in, lovely, absolutely lovely, and she was like, "What is going on with my cowl? Why does it look like this?" And I just was had to be frank with her. I'm like, "Cause you use cheap yarn." I'm like, "It's not gonna sit the way. It's not gonna look in this picture. That is picture of expensive, high quality." yarn. Mm -hmm. You can't use a red heart and think it's going to be looking as, as beautiful and as drapey and as luxurious as something that costs, it, you get what you pay for. So it was probably stiff, wasn't it? Oh, it just, it just was, yeah, yeah. it just didn't look right. And she knew it. She goes, I know I'm a new knitter. I said, no, no, I appreciate that. And I get it. And especially if you don't know if you're going to love it. But once you're invested in the time, then spend a little extra money. She okay? knows, and now that she's, she's new, she knows. Yeah, and now she knows, and so she did. She ordered some other yarn, and it's she made it again, and her friend actually came in, and she goes, she made it again with the yarn you suggested, and it's gorgeous. I'm like, yes. So it really, it really, really makes a difference. Well, I explained that to someone the other day. It's a, you know, she goes, oh, I love this yarn. You know, it wasn't Red Heart, but it was another, you know, cheaper brand, and as I explained, she goes, I want to make a sweater of it. And I said, you're not going to like the sweater. That's a craft yarn. Right. You want to do a blanket? Mm -hmm. You want to do a doll? Right. You want to do a chain garland? Right. That's your thing. It's sturdy. It's going to hold up. Right. It's going to be do exactly, but it's not going to drape like a sweater. Right. It's going to hang like cardboard. And it's stiff, and it doesn't it, work right. well. It and will it, not, no matter yeah. how much you do. And right. I have done where I've steam killed. Some acrylic, but right. I but it's a small batch of right. steam killing. Right. It's not a whole sweater. Right. Although you can. Yeah. I did it once. Yeah, it you can. Fun. It's tedious, but, but you can do it. If you don't know what steam killing is, that's that will be our look back. new year. Well, we did we did we did steam kill oh, yeah, something we did here, steam killing. and yeah. Um, yeah, Judy tried to kill me actually with the because she didn't like how I was doing. You. She took it. She took it back. But anyway, there it's an episode and it's really funny, so you can yeah, go back true. a little bit and watch it. We beat things. Oh, we it was it was we kill things. We beat things here. We, uh, Judy actually has her sweater that she finished up recently, and she needs it to be beaten. And I, I volunteered to do it while she's wearing it. Yeah, well, I did miss a spot. On she my missed sleeve. a spot, and I so was I'm willing just to do wear it for her. and let you spray it. I'm going to do that. I thought of her. I'm going to need. I need Gordon's wet. So, anyways, Gordon, let's just Gordon's, let's digress. Gordon's Hold on one gone, second. Where's that wooden spatula? So let's, I would have to get out Let's digress anymore. here into as we tend to do on our tangents. Um, oh, so apparently, I love me some Gordon. Sweetest, <laughs> kindest man. He was so, he's always he been so he's helpful like and good and she, he loves my daughter, so I, I just love him. Um, so apparently, Gordon's quite the hunk of burn of love. And he is ripped. quite the hunk of burn of love. So uh, our last couple episodes ago, Judy almost had to, to get old Beth Dutton on the woman who was hitting on <laughs> Gordon at a Christmas party. <laughs> And apparently, also the neighbors trying to steal the man. Next, neighbor, next door neighbor. Next door neighbor was trying to steal. Well, she, the she, man. she's very obvious, and I said it to another neighbor. I said, "Is is is you know who on the on the hunt?" She goes, "Oh my God!" She keeps asking my husband Mark about his brothers because his brothers live down here too, and they always show up. And you know, they're always over at the house. She keeps asking about him, and so I was, I was cracking up because we, you know, we were the the loud mouths at the Christmas party last week because we're sitting there. My friend Jody, she's just crazy all the time, and my neighbor. She goes, I can't hear. It's just too much background noise. Let me take out my my hearing aid. And she takes it out. She goes, now say something to me and see if I can hear it. And, I'm like, <laughs> and of course, she's dying laughing. When she laughs, she's got this huge laugh. <laughs> and so everybody's looking over at us, and we're on the floor. Yeah. We're on the floor right. laughing and stuff. And somebody says, do you know sign language? I said, the only sign language I know is water <laughs> from the miracle worker. <laughs> water, water. We used to do that all the time. My next oh. teacher next door to me was a freshman English teacher. And they did the miracle worker. And she'd always come over and slam open the door at the end of the, they'd be watching. And she goes, it's time. <laughs> and I went, really? Yeah. And so I'd go over and I'd open up the fresh door and I'd go, for what a, what a. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Judy. <laughs> anyway, so oh, yeah. uh, you digress. Go back to Gordon now. So, so apparently, um, Gordon, did he help her?
remove some stuff I or take some stuff down some or power washing for her, mm -hmm. painted something for her. I don't know I don't pay any attention so she sent a Christmas card just to I Gordon. can't even that just, just to Gordon Gordon says I got a Christmas card from, I won't say her name I went, oh, really? I looked at the envelope. It's addressed to Gordon. We live right next door. Right next door, like 30 feet from each other. And inside, it says, Merry Christmas, Gordon. And she put it in the box. Because he helped her with something. I was like, Merry Christmas, Gordon. And whatever that bag of a wife is, we're not I even going to acknowledge her. Bag. I was like, I'm not existent. Garden. I've already moved on from her, have you? <laughs> I was like, are you serious? So, of course, I had to tell Jody today. And she's like, I am dying. This is hysterical. Oh, God, that's so funny. I love it. It'd be one thing if it was like somebody that you, you didn't know, or maybe Gordon from work. You know what I mean? Like, something like that, but that, that's, that's excellent. I'm right here. <laughs> right here. Right here. <laughs> I'm making a point to open my door down. Oh, hey! Happy holidays! Just for me, though. Not Gordon. <laughs> Gordon's not here anymore. <laughs> well, it's like that. I mean, he can be gone. I mean, I I was down. <laughs> we were up in Ohio, and he was helping my friend Lori. She'd had knee surgery, and she's the one that always comes down. And, yeah. You know, yeah. So we figured out I had to be back for a Christmas party. So I came back early after Thanksgiving, and he stayed up there and drove back down 10 days. 10 days I'm by myself. Right. They can Crickets. see me out. Crickets. Crickets. Nothing. Yep. He was alone for two days, and <laughs> the neighbors are all talking about how they were fighting over having him come for dinner. And I'm like, are you shitting me? <laughs> Are you absolutely shitting? <laughs> well, so I, 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 I think it was Facebook, maybe Instagram. I can't remember. So I'm in, you know, all these different um, groups and stuff because I want to try to get the name out with the, 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 the little shops. It's important to, you know, word of mouth and like the social media is really all you have for the most part. So I'm on these different groups. Well, I got sent this, and I don't know if I sent it to you yet. I got sent this. Um, what is really, really up and coming right now is Naked Pickle Ball, and I cannot. <laughs> No, that's not allowed in Sun City. <laughs> I that cannot is imagine so not allowed something in Sun City. I would want to watch with people doing naked less than pickleball, but you break my nose. Uh, yes. <laughs> naked but pickleball. You break your nose playing naked pickleball. It's pickleball. It's 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 a full contact sport, sort of. But uh, well, you know what? It's supposed I won't play it. Naked. And, and we went to check it out ball. a couple times, and like we were in this club, and like we're doing a little demo. Why don't you come over and we'll teach you how to play pickleball? And I said, well, we went over. Well, here's the problem. Pickleball is supposed to be fun. It was designed as a leisure activity like badminton, but not quite badminton. Right. And you get the guys who still have all this testosterone. <laughs> I'm going to show you. I'm as good as I was when I was 25. <laughs> Screw it that I'm 78. And they slam it down your throat. Yeah. And so you're playing pickleball Defense. like this. Yeah, and right. It's like, up my nose. That is not fun. <laughs> no. That is not fun. Well, Judy lives in this over 55 community, and active. it's a really... Make sure you sorry. say active. Uh, excuse me. This active <laughs> community of old people. No, Thank wait, you. sorry. <laughs> so it's... No. We're fast. And, but it's giant. I mean, how many people live there? 17,000. Like, people, 70,000 people live in this... It's a city. It's called Sun City. It literally has everything you could possibly need. You don't ever have to leave. Three... Uh, what, four outdoor pools. Was it three golf courses? Three golf courses, four outdoor pools, two indoor pools. And naked pickleballs coming next. We have a craft center. Yep. I mean, our so wet club that involves beading, scrapbooking, knitting, weaving. All the spinning, crafty all stuff. That. We have 900 members. I mean, that's that's just Theater. A, yeah. Yeah, and it's crazy. Have they have all kinds boxy. of stuff. Do you have a grocery store in there? No, or, no you don't have a grocery store. We have okay. two, Do you have a gas station? Ones? We have three restaurants now. No, okay. No, three that's the villages in Florida. We're not quite as bad as the villages. So we do not have a baton twirling club like wait, the villages yet, does. Yet you could start one. What do you have not? You have like somebody <laughs> wanted to start a baton like, twirling club. I don't know club. how the conversation got on Facebook, and they're like, "We should start one." Oh and my I'm god! Like, I'm like. No. Yeah, no. that's because that's what Judy did in college too. She even went to college and she was a, a majorette. I'm a majorette. A majorette. I twirled fire. I did I it see, with my boots did on. They, see, we had, when I was in elementary school, we had a after school club where we learned to, uh, just the basics of baton twirling. And my, my baton twirling experience came to an abrupt end when I accidentally tossed it at my mother and <laughs> right in the head. So that, that came to a quick end. But, my mom all the time. 
You're not twirling in the bedroom, are you? No. Clunk. What was that crash? You know, you hit the overhead. Right. Like, Nothing. Right. <laughs> so, but I don't like, and, and my kids, I've never seen an advertisement, and maybe it's just where we've lived, but I've never seen an advertisement for learning how to twirl a baton. Is it's it a lost down. art? It's not big enough. I think it's coming back. Is it? I mean, it's... It, well, you have, if you want, it's a... It, does it go with like color guard? Band. Does Alabama's, it go with color guard? Yeah, it's part of color guard. Okay. But Alabama's band has a whole row of majorettes. I mean, they're gorgeous. And Chris Allred, the, the meteorologist, yeah. she was a Alabama majorette. Okay, I can I see that. I guess she won national contests I can see and that. everything. I can see that. But anyway, so yeah, so that's coming soon. Coming soon. Judy is starting she thinks I'm gonna baton go. twirling. I keep trying to get her to do the I ones on fire out front. Yeah. We'll just put some, some crappy yarn on the end and light that on fire. fire. I twirled. Two, five. And then I did it. I did it through college. And then one year for college, I did this. And it was so much fun. I did it like two or three years. I just made it up during the summer. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> I hired myself out to marching bands for their summer camps. And I would go. That's and brilliant. they would have their program ready. And I would teach the majorettes. That we would do their whole routines. I'd make them up and I'd teach them their routines That's for the brilliant. year. So I mean, I'm really making is. money. Plus, I, got, I love going to camp. And yeah. I love being on staff at camp after the kids go to bed. A lot of wild stuff happens. I imagine. And, and we we don't want to know about that, that as parents. Oh, we, we no, no. Know. It's that they all sit around and pray. Yeah. That's what they pray for, for happiness and healthiness and all of all of that Always fun. had a good time, you know, and that's what I did. And so I worked with some bands then after high school. I mean, after college, I did that a lot of work with some bands. You know, you guys, we, we had to hustle a lot as kids. We Didn't did. you have to hustle to make money? Like, yeah. we had to hustle. I started working when I was 13. And I babysat when I was 12. And I mean, we, that's, you just hustled and you, that's how you yeah. made yeah, money. I babysat. And I did, my parents did this and I did the same thing with my kids. You have a choice because you're only in high school once. If you want to experience high school and be in sports or plays or band, yeah. you don't have to work because I know how much time that takes. Right. But the minute that you're not doing any of that, your ass is on a job. Mine said, and oh, so, did you want to buy that? Well, then where are you getting the money from, bitch? Okay, it wasn't well, quite that extreme. But my older brother and I, <laughs> my older brother was Mr. High School. But I was in band, he was in plays, I was in plays. We both did, you know, yeah. honor society yeah. stuff. We did too. And so... I ran cross country, I was in the gymnastics I didn't, team. He did. He I was in honor society. Um, I did things like knock down the... Um, uh, hurdles with my knees, pretending to jump over. Okay. But um, no, but, but the steeplechase. So, and then my Very senior steep. year, spring of my senior year, I started working because everything was done. You know, as I was getting close to graduation. Yeah. And so my older brother and I did that, and we never worked. My younger brother, he wasn't interested in that, so he worked. So you know? now, did you? Were you still baton twirling? That's how did you get into it in, in college? I. Um, my band director said, there's a couple colleges that are having auditions. Are you interested in going to some? And I went to one. It was way out of my league. And then um, that's when my dad said, do you really want to go to Bowling Green? Look how cold it is up here. <laughs> and so Ashland was having, and, and um, I knew I wanted to be a teacher. I knew I didn't want to go to Ohio State. I, it was just too big. And so some different small liberal arts colleges were having tryouts. So I went and I tried out. I tried out at a couple of them, and they all offered me. And so cool. I, I, I really liked Ashland and went there. See, I got. So I was a major at. So I was head major at my senior year in high school, and then um, I was a major at my freshman year and sophomore year in college, and then the um, this was this was wild. The um, <clears throat> the band director called us all in, and I think there was ten of us plus the drum major. And he said, "Okay, we need uh, we need to have a new head majorette for next year, and you know." And there was one girl that was going to be a senior, so they said, um, "We're going to vote vote on paper." So we did. So I voted for her because she was going to be a senior. Yeah. And it came back that all the other votes were for me, and it just blew my mind because I sat there and I'm like, "Really?" Well, I can't imagine because you're such a wallflower. I, know. I, know. I mean, you're so yeah. so shy and really not that outgoing. So I, I can't imagine why. Well, so, that's that's fun. Um, so yeah, so I ended up being that my my junior and senior year. That's fun. Yeah, see, I ran. College, I, I mean. ran. I was I was captain my senior year. I ran cross country, and then when I graduated high school, I actually got scholarship for running for a couple places. And I, as soon as I finished my senior year of running in cross country, I didn't run again until I was in my forties. Well, see, <laughs> so, I know. that was it. Um, well, that's so, like yeah. my son Chris. He uh, he was you know he ran and did all that, and then his junior year, he was a very good rider. And he actually, I sent him down to the, the um, newspaper office just 
to see if they wanted to hire someone to call in scores, and he'd write them down at night. Yeah. They hired him as a writer. That's great. His job as a sophomore, I mean, as a junior and senior in high school, was a sports writer for the local newspaper. That's awesome. I know. It, was, awesome. it was awesome. And so then he did it all through college. He was yeah. in sports communication. Yeah. And now he's a mail carrier. He doesn't want to do it anymore. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. it just is. It's just, you well, never know. You, you never really end up. I never thought I would front. own a store, let yeah. alone what I'm doing now. But Yeah, and he liked it. But, you know, and then he liked working there, but he saw how much the guys who had families were making and it wasn't a whole lot. Well, that's, like, that's the whole thing. When I, when I lived in Spain, I got a job and I worked for the New York Times, the Madrid office. And cause I was had a journalism, I was working on a journalism degree. And, um, it, and all I did all day was look at newspapers from the, from, you know, Spain and clip articles. That's all I did was read articles in my head, just translate them to decide, is this something that we should keep in case we need to do research, blah, blah, blah. I got paid when I would contribute information. I didn't even really get to write anything, but I would write up like, here's, they did a thing on um, olive oil for Spain and that went to the New York Times. And so I got paid, you know, 50 bucks or whatever for contributing to that by gathering information. And so I was like, that's kind of boring. So yeah, when I yeah, then you realize what it all really entails. Well, yeah, and then my, so I had a degree in journalism and I have a degree in um, Spanish, and I was graduating, and of course I, I had no idea what I was going to do, and I got offered a job at the AP Wire, but I was going to make like twenty five grand and have to live in Manhattan. I'm like, what am I going to live under a bridge? I know you can't. I'm like <laughs> twenty five grand to live in Manhattan. Yeah. So <laughs> I was like. No. What's wrong with this picture? Uh, yeah, that's where like the toilets in the kitchen. Well, that's you know? uh, yeah, that's it's it, you know you live in a closet and then um, you know so I ended up just getting a job at a little radio station. I had met, met the general manager of this radio station and he hired me and he goes, "You got to trust in me." So he got me on the air. I'd never even been on the air and but I mean still I worked. I was the morning show host, which means I was up at three in the morning and on air, and I was the marketing director. So for two full time jobs, I only made twenty one grand. Oh geez. So yeah. here I was like starving, but but had had fun. I had fun. So anyway, on that crazy note, we have already blabbled through our whole hour. We have. Yes, we have. See, so you notice I keep playing with this. I know. I, I keep I playing with whatever this is not going so. away because I keep looking at that going. Okay, this is going to be my next. Well, good. We've got a, we've got more where that came oh, from. Geez. So so thank you so much for joining us. I hope that I don't freeze my butt off tomorrow but if i now do you'll read luck. about me i'll be in my pajamas cheering me on from the couch go it's, go go it's, it's gordon's go, Mish, go. Uh, it's gordon's and my anniversary 39 I think, years I think my baby next door neighbor is taking him out to dinner <laughs> <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving really yeah. she's gonna take him out to dinner <laughs> well congratulations to them <laughs> So I, we hope you have a wonderful holiday here, uh, wherever you are with you and your family. Next Friday, I will be in Buffalo, New York to celebrate the wedding of my, my baby But the girl. shop will be open Wednesday, Thursday, mm -hmm. Friday, 12 to 4. Come mm -hmm. on in and knit with mm -hmm. me. Come play with Relax. the kegger. The, the kegger's going you know what on. what we can do? We'll mix, we'll, we'll change the oh, whole thing. So she wants around. me to lose my so mind. So she can't find where she She wants me to lose my mind is what that is. So yeah, happy new year. <laughs> Wait, you're insane her. Yes, so. where we put <laughs> All right, happiest holidays. Happy. happy new year. We will see you back in January. Take can't care. Can't wait. <laughs> Bye-bye.